I could make this baseball cap out of foil method, but a much faster method would be to use slab. So I'm going to go through the steps on how to make this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I grabbed a bowl from my kitchen and it's just a basic cereal bowl. You could um, use any type of bowl and I'm gonna cover this bowl in some newspaper so that my clay doesn't stick to it. And then I'm just gonna take some slab and lay that slab directly over this piece. Softly gonna fold that slab around to form over the bowl. I have a little bit of extra here that I can use to make the rim of my hat. So I'm gonna work at trying to preserve the little hangover part of this slab. If you don't have extra, you could always take a separate piece of slab and slip and score and attach it to this part. If you don't have a bowl, you could just take a bunch of newspaper, wad it all up, you know, do, do this with a whole bunch of them and tape it all together and make yourself, you know, something that resembles a bowl shape and then go ahead and lay your slab over that. Once I have a bit of the form that I'm happy with, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off my excess slab. I'm gonna get this set up on a board with some newspaper so it'll be much easier for me to maneuver around. And then I want to give my rim a little bit of that curvature. So I'm going to take some balled up newspaper, I'm going to sneak it under there, and adjust it as much as you need it to. It's all right for this to be a little bit rough at this point. You can come in and fix it all later once it's had a little bit of time to set up. I can only get away with doing this, adding these little bits of clay back in and blending it in because my slab is really wet right now. If it wasn't, there's no way that this would work without falling off during the firing. I'm gonna set this aside, let it have some time to get stiff enough so that when I remove it from the bowl, it doesn't lose its shape. And that is gonna vary depending on your weather situation. You just wanna keep coming back at it and checking on it. And if when you do this and you pick it up and it's no longer floppy or and it kind of moves the whole thing, then it's pretty much ready to go.
I'm pretty sure that they cannot see anything right now. Thank <laughs> you. 